We have already seen a lot of things in Laravel. In this video, we see something new. This is because I don't want you to get bored by learning the same thing at once. For example, if we were doing a blade, then I would need 10 videos or even more at once. That is boring. This is why I go back and forth all the time. In this tutorial, we will learn something very, very cool. How to extend blade. We have already used some blade directives, like for each, for else, extends, and all that other good stuff. Of course, that's not magic, we can do that ourselves, and this is what we will do in this video. Suppose that you want to display the age of the user. When the user provides the birth date, what would you do? Well, first of all, let me log in as one of the users. So I will copy this email and log in. And I will go to profile. So most probably something like this. So I will open some p tags just to have this more clear. And then your age is and then carbon carbon create from date and you pass the birth date. In the end, you return the age. This is correct. You will see the result right here. Your age is 23. The question is, do you like this? Or better say, in case you use this a lot, and not only once, do you really like this way? Well, I guess not. This is not very readable and it is a bit complex. However, what about something like this? So let me go again here. So what about something like this? Your age is and then at age and you pass the birth date. Do you like this one better? <laughs> I think you do. So let's start doing this. Open up service provider. and copy whatever is inside the boot function to the register. And let me actually delete this. The functionality is the same, don't worry about it. We will discuss about service providers in another video and you will understand the difference between boot and register. Now go at the top and include blade. Use, illuminate, support, facades, and then blade. Now in the boot function, we will create our custom directive. So blade directive, I will name this age. And then we need a closer. We also need a variable expression. In the end, just return empty PHP tags. So PHP, Excellent. Now let's dd expression. So I will say here dd expression and see what we get. As you can see, I get a string that consists of the birth date. If you are still getting the view, then make sure you run PHP artisan view clear. This command will delete all of the cached blade views. Now back to this. So whatever I passed inside age here, which is the birth date, we get it in our browser. Of course, it would be better to have a JSON response. So let's do it. App service provider. I will say here data equals to JSON decode and I pass the expression. Now I will DD data instead of expression. Let's go back. We have an array now and it is a lot easier to work with. So let's create three variables to store the year, the month, and the day. Year, month, and day. So the year is data zero, because as you can see here, the year is inside the index zero. The month is data one, and the day data 2. 
I will create one more variable for the age and I will copy the code from the profile view. I will go back to this. And we only have to replace the numbers with our variables. So year, month, day. The last step now is to return this inside the PHP tag. So echo age. Let's go back and see the result. It looks like I forgot a semicolon, so right here. Okay, let's go back again. And now I have used years instead of year. Back again, one more time. Okay, so now it says your age is. Well, let's see why. Mm, aha, I forgot the question mark. By the way, this is what you get when you don't use plain PHP anymore. You forget how to even open them. Anyway, let's make sure also that we delete the cached views. So PHP artisan view clear. Let's go back and there you are. Your age is 23. Anyway, you might have noticed here that I use brackets. The reason why is because we are passing more than one argument. In case you only have one argument, you don't need them. What about another example? Let's create another custom directive. I will name this one say hello. So blade directive say hello, the closer, the expression, And all you have to do is to return PHP. Make sure you don't forget the question mark. And uh, then you say echo, hello, and then expression. Of course, we have to use this. So I will go here. I will delete this one. But first, let's take a look. You can see how easy this one is compared to this one. This is by using custom directives and this one without. So delete that and use the new directive. So say hello and you pass the name. Let's see the result. Okay, I guess I'm having a very bad day. So let's go see what we have here. I forgot two semicolons. So one inside the PHP tags and the other one after the return. Let's go back. It works. Hello Renato, and you just need a space here. Let's clear the view and see the result. Perfect. Now the problem about custom directives. Make sure you do not overdo it. Custom blade directives are a great tool, but you need to use them wisely. Do not overdo it.